Yeah, so what would I be doing on a February evening? <laughs> in uh, On a Monday night, February evening. Uh, well, I'm thinking ahead, because what I'm thinking about is the fact that we pay all these incredible amounts of money for motorhomes, and believe it or not, some of the wiring underneath your motorhome is not really, the plugs they're using now are not that brilliant. And uh, on our previous motorhome, my roller team, um, as time went on, um, these little plugs started to give a little bit of trouble. We we were having a few lighting issues and stuff like that. And so I've just tried to um, show in that little bit of, I've got some little bits of film. I've just um, been under my motorhome because um, I want to try and combat this problem before just it starts. Just having a look under the motorhome now. And this is the actual plug that I want to try and coat in that wax oil. You can see the wires going into the plug. Before it starts arising. And uh, the way to do it, is uh, try and treat these connections with something before the mo before it starts getting in there and getting too bad they start getting a little bit green you get the water in there all the time it starts getting corrosive so we're just going to um so i at the moment it's not the best weather it's still a little bit damp at the moment um i'm really happy i've just you just see it there all them wires that's what we need to get coated and again there's a earth post there that needs coating because that's likely to corrode with the bare terminals. Yeah, I've just, like I said, I've been under this motorhome and it's really nice condition underneath. I've just had a little look around to see what the areas I need to combat as regards washing. Um, so I'm going to get my pressure washer on a reasonable day and start trying to hit them little muddy patches. It's like I say, it's not nothing tearing at the moment. It's a little bit back around the back end. This has got mud flaps on the back end. So it's been um, really useful to have them on, on the vehicle. Yeah, another place I want to try and get a load of that wax oil is in these holes in the chassis going up through across some of these cross members. They're all in really good condition at the moment, but I just want to fill them up. Over the other side there, you can see the brake pipes running along. Just hold it a little bit squarer. So, um, yeah, there's the brake pipes, and I want to try and, while it's still in really good condition, um, we're going to try and get a coating on. Any little electrical plugs. But... Um, I'm just going to try and uh, get it all cleaned off, get it dry, and then we're going to uh, hit some of these places with this stuff. Yeah, even down to the back of the gas low. Uh, there's the gas low plug on the side of the vehicle from the inside, and there's a little bit of corrosion around this plate in there that uh, I want to try and get that coated up before it gets too rusty as well, before too many problems set in. Yeah, so in my waste tank on this Burstner, I've got a heater element for the winter time. And uh, there are two little, very small terminals there. You can see them, they're blue terminals. And just before they get badly corroded, I'm going to give them a real good coating with this product. Uh, that is another little problem area. So that's going to be my heater element in the uh, waste tank, the grey water tank. Yeah, so just having a little look around and uh, making sure, see how clean it is. I'm going to, um, beautiful uh, stainless steel exhaust system on here. Look at this, I need to get home, get, get on through here and polish that. <laughs> but um, no, so just having a look around, just to, having a little look, just to see what I need to wash, what, what I need to pressure wash before I apply this product. Stuff. And uh, so the, these are wax oil, and uh, I've just got myself a, um, uh, a big pack of it. We've got a pack of it, and I've got an old can here as well to use, so I've got s seven tins of this stuff. But the name of the game with these little aerosols you, uh, are the fact that it's, you can, you can, you've got a little tiny um, directional, uh, pipe that fits onto the um to the top of the cat up obviously a lot of people already know this with their wd-40s it's the same principle and this can be like directed right in the the areas you want to get to you know 
But uh, I bet most of us, I bet are like uh, your dad, your parents, <laughs> you need to get your car wax oiled. And uh, basically, it's always in the sort of mind about uh, when you get a new vehicle. It was, it was top of priority back in the uh, the 70s, the 80s. Get some wax oil on your car, protect it, save your, look after your asset. Um, and uh, I'm going to try and, uh, so th this is just a, a, a bit of a preview of what I've got going to come up. I'll show you when I'm doing the job. Um, what we're going to be, and, and well, basically, I can explain, you know, that them plugs underneath your motorhome from where the chassis, this is a Fiat, so whether it be a Fiat, a Renault, a Ford Transit, when they put the coach build body on the back, they end up putting these plugs on, and I'm guaranteeing you that is one place that will give you lighting issues on the back of your motorhome. And if you start getting problems back there, you'll get fuses blown, you'll have all sorts of issues. So um, I'm going to, like I say, try and combat it in the early stages of the game, lag it with this stuff, and... Um, try and stop all that uh, corrosion building up on them uh, and and you will see what I mean. I don't know if anybody with um, um, get underneath your motorhome, have a look for these plugs on a nice day, just um, chuck a cloth down, have a little look in underneath, see where any of these uh, plugs are. Um, I'm going to get underneath mine and I'm going to start doing my brake pipes, I'm going to do my handbrake linkage, I just showed you that gas low connection, it's nothing too bad but there's a little metal bar bracket on the back of it that it's started to rust already, and uh, that's where I just need to uh, get some of this stop stuff on it. Get get that moisture prevented from entering. Um, this, and I'm, I'm going to put some more information. This this actually kills old rust, prevents new rust, and uh, spray inside your doors, panels, box sections, and other internal structures. Um, and it basically on here that prolongs your vehicle life. And uh, like I say, I, I just needed to get this sort of video out there because there's nothing worse than when you're on a trip and uh, then you start getting issues and you do not want to be lying on your back, try and put, I, I did it with my roller team, I, I remember it well, little connections and they're very, very fine wires trying to get them connected, it's an absolute nightmare and um, these ones on here look a little bit, the, whether the Fiat, because that was a transit, whether the Fiat ones, if it may be in print, but that plug is my first port of call, without a doubt. Okay, thanks guys, I, I, I'm just going to put that out there and uh, Get some reaction from you guys. Maybe you've had a few um, issues, um, but I'm going to have a really good, intense look at this motorhome. I've got plenty of this swag here, and I'm going to give it a real good coating underneath. And um, that's it. Yeah, thanks for um, watching this video. If you uh, think it might have helped you and uh, future videos that we're going to produce, um, hit the uh, notification bell, get notifications when we're putting up videos, and it's free to subscribe. You know the score. Hit the subscription, get us up on the subscriptions, and uh, we've just uh, reached, I think we've just gone over 100,000 uh, YouTube views, so uh, hopefully people are enjoying our content, although it'd be a bit crazy in some, some of our trips. And uh, we've got loads going on. We've got a forthcoming trip just clarified this weekend. If you watched our video from uh, Baltic Wharf the weekend, probably seen us uh, talking about we're going to visit the Bursner factory in Kale in Germany. For, uh, and um, so that's going to be super excited. We are met. And I've just booked my ferry. Ferry? What the hell am I talking about? I'm on Euro Tunnel. It's 35 minutes. 35 minutes. I don't want to be sat on a ferry. An hour and a half. Dover to Calais. Get on a Euro Tunnel. Whew. 35 minutes. We're going to be in France. And uh, June. We're we're booked to go. I, I, I've been on there today, one, two, six, one way. I don't know when I'm coming back yet. It might be never. <laughs> With a bit of luck. No. So I've done a one-way crossing. Not sure what we're doing for the return yet. Um, got to work, but get the crossing in. Um, £126, something like that. 126 quid. Whew. 35 minutes, sit in your motor room. All right, I'm babbling again. I've got to go and have a shower. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you later. Yeah, I was nearly gone then.
You thought I was gone? No, I haven't gone yet. No, I just wanted to say another thing. I, I, I literally, I've got so much to tell you guys, and I'm just sort of thinking, oh my God, that stuff. So maybe next year's winter trip, my steel wheels, I can probably, I'm gonna, so later on in the spring, these will be coming off, and I'm gonna, um, potentially have an, a, an examination of the backs of the wheels and see how they're uh, looking, all that brake dust and uh, road salt in the winter. Exa I will be washing them clean, make sure there's no corrosion on them. But hey, next year, a coating of wax oil on them is gonna protect them. The world's your oyster. Let's go for it.